December 19th meeting of the Conservation Commission. Stand as soon as five. Pledge of allegiance to, to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I'm going to get a gavel for Phil next time. My lips are sealed. You've been well, I'm going to censor you. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Tell you. I love a good censor. <laughs> Uh, let's see, septic repair for Clayton Lucas, 80G Cummings Lane. And this is a uh, RDA. Yes, Mr. Chairman, it is. <coughs> Folks, happy holidays to all. Mark Roberts, Analysis and Design Engineering. Thank you. I'm representing Mr. Clayton Lucas. Uh, for property located at 80G Cummings Lane. This is a small lot, 8,500 and change square feet. It's got a seasonal two bedroom cottage on it. Uh, currently has an existing uh, cesspool on the property and the objective here is to replace the cesspool with a Title V compliant system. In this case, I've chosen, uh, given the size of the lot and well setbacks primarily. It's a bottom sand filter pre-treated with the Advantech system. Uh, I was able to provide equidistant setback of the bottomless sand filter from a, from the site well and the butter well. Uh, to get maximum setback within the boundaries of the property, I've got about 71 feet from the wells. That leaves the BSF uh, about 190 feet from me high water line. Uh, and uh, I've requested an RDA for the uh, installation of that septic repair and replacing the cesspool. Uh, that went through the Board of Health last evening. I'll defer to Chris. I saw his report. Thank you, Mark. Mr. Chairman Clayton Lucas, 80G Cummings Lane. This is a request for termination of applicability filed by ADA Engineering with Mark Rogers representing. Report date is December 14th, 2023. Uh, agency is required to be contacted. As Mark mentioned, the Board of Health approved this uh, last evening. The site visit was on December 14th, 2023 as well. Description of the work, the applicant has filed to repair the sewage disposal system on the property. The property is located on the lower portion of Cummings Lane and just within the 200 foot of the Westport River's mean high water. The proposed bottomless sand filter is designed to be 189 feet from mean high water. The work is exempt under the Wetlands Protection Act Riverfront Regulations for an existing repair to a septic. Uh, the erosion controls will be staked below the work location for preventative measures. Resource areas in this project is just riverfront. Recommendations for the board, the Westport Conservation Commission should issue a negative box two determination for the sewage disposal repair at 80G Cummings Lane. No question. Good. All right. Anybody have any questions at the table about the motion? Motion to approve with a negative box two determination. Second. Okay, second from Jason. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? All right, that's unanimous. Thank you, Mark. Do you see Sam McCain earlier here? We have new magnets. You like that? I like them very much. Did you work that, Mr. Chair? I had him well. You know, I think the pulse and strings are getting caught by this. Oh, yeah. So it's a great to break into our big conservation fund. Yeah. Only someone knows how to use them. I got it. Mark, have a good holiday. Happy holidays, Take care. Make sure to tell your wife you're asking about it. Yeah. All right, so we have uh, next Jacob Dean, notice of intent, zero inheritance land, just start single family dwelling in the buffer zone. Who would have thought we'd ever have two magnets that can hold up these pigs in the place? Usually it's like a half a dozen and it still falls. <coughs> oh, you have the green cards and stuff? Oh, he donated them All right, good. earlier. Uh, representing Jake Dean for his property on Inheritance Lane. Um, this is a new construction, single family dwelling with a permanent water well and a septic system. There's an abutting, uh, the abutting property to the uh, west has the BBW on it. So our project here is 100% a buffer zone project. And the buffer zone is shown here. So we have a driveway, uh, retaining wall, grading, 
and a well within the 100 foot buffer to the DDW. To um, control the sedimentation, we're proposing a water tube over here to be double staked and installed. And the septic system itself, all the components are 100% out of the uh, buffer zone to the DDW. So, about it. All right, read the report, Chris. Any chance? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. For the record, Mr. Chairman, this is Jacob Dean in Heritance Lane. We, at our last meeting, approved the Dean family to construct this gravel way. This is one of the uh, lots of that development. Uh, this is a Notice of Intent application filed by South Coast Engineering with Greg Nicholas representing Jacob Dean. Report date is uh, December 14, 2023. There is a file number with no adverse comments. It's SE802712. Uh, site visit was also on December 14, 2023. Uh, Greg, the status with the Board of Health, do you know if this is approved or not? I don't know that. Okay. Um, as I mentioned, you know, everything here is out of the uh, buffer zone. So. so we'll put pending Board of Health anyways for the motion, Mr. Chairman. Um, detailed description of the work. The owner has filed to construct a new single-family dwelling on the recently permitted gravel roadway. The single-family home will be constructed 90 feet from the edge of the approved delineation. The site requires grading to the property, uh, right to the property line, and that activity will be no closer than 47 feet. Erosion controls will be staked in place on the downslope side and be maintained till the lawn area is stabilized and growing. The remainder of the site work is outside of the 100 foot buffer zone. And again, some of this work comes into play just below this for the swale design that is part of that roadway approval. This is a buffer zone activity, as Greg had mentioned. Recommendations for the board, the Westport Conservation Commission should approve the single family home in grading with standard conditions for file number SE802712, and that should be pending Board of Health approval. Any questions? No. Any questions? No. Audience? <laughs> no questions or motions? I'll make a motion to approve pending Board of Health approval. Second. Was a Phil seconded, Jason. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Aye. All right, too, Greg. Take care. Okay, we have two uh, specific appliances. First one is uh, SE of Channel Town 2032 Main Road, SE 81478. Correct, Mr. Chairman. The Connors have um, put the house up for sale. This is 2032 Main Road. There were these outstanding certificate, outstanding orders that did not have a certificate of compliance. The request is for file number SE801478. The report date is December 14, 2023. The site visit was also on December 14, 2023. The owner has filed the request a certificate of compliance be issued for an old order, 2005 order of conditions. All work has been completed according to the plan of record. So recommendations, the Westport Conservation Commission should issue a full certificate of compliance for file number SE801478 for Connors, Sharon Connors, 2032 Main Road. Any questions? If not a motion. Move to issue the uh, certificate of compliance. We have a second? Second. Second from Jason. All in favor? Opposed? Aye. Well, that's the thing I think. You know me, you can be alright. Spreading the Christmas joy, I see. Yeah. The tests were all positive, but I think they were all defective tests. Positive, that's a good thing, right? Yeah. Okay, next we have Sharon Connors again, SE80 2083. That's um, 2032 Main Road. This is another. Compliance. Correct, Mr. Chairman. Um, this is a more recent one, but this one dates back to 2014. For Sharon Connors, 2032 Main Road, the request for a certificate of compliance for file number SE802083. The report date was um, December 14, 2023, as well as the site visit was on December 14, 2023. The owner has filed the request a certificate of compliance be issued for an old 2014 order of conditions. All work has been completed according to the plan of record. Recommendations for the board, the Westport Conservation Commission should issue a full certificate of compliance for file number SE802083. That is all, Mr. Chairman. Questions, motion? <coughs> motion to approve. 
Motion from Jake, second for something? Second. Second, Kevin, all those in favor? Aye. Opposed? All right, that's unanimous. Okay, next we have uh, W.B. Mason Bill, 6359, all the supplies. Motion to pass. Motion from Kevin. Second. second. Second from Jake, all in favor? Opposed? That's unanimous. Sale. Next we have East Bay uh, Media and Advertising for hearing. Motion to pay. Motion to pay. Motion to pay. Motion to pay. Second. 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 Second from Jason. All in favor. Opposed? All right. That's unanimous. Sale. Next we have minutes from uh, December 5th. Uh, Jason Powell ran the meeting with Phil Fantastically Warren, Warren Burden, well, Kevin Carter, and Chris Capone. So there's not a he did a stunning job. That's not what I heard. But okay. It was. It was. Sick. Everything was signed correctly and not. It was. It was like a well-oiled machine. It it was, it was, really, it, ratings were through the roof. I'm it, sure. It, yeah. No, it, really, it really was quite mean. It was, it was, I've watched it a few times. It like I'd, it be, I'd be careful. Out. You're going to get offered it. Yeah. It's gone viral. Yeah, right be here. careful. Be careful. I can always give you a performance or attendance issue <laughs> down the road. They showed it right after Betty. I can always give you. You guys are from Betty Hill. Oh, of course. I love Betty. Come on. That's when comedy was funny. Yeah. All right, so that's all we have for this evening. Chris. Silent comedy. Hmm. Mr. Chairman, I have two. No, 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 all the minutes. Uh, there's only four people here, and it's going to be here. I only have two things for you. Obviously, everyone, I think, saw the photos of East Beach. We had a significant damage to the beach. Uh, sheds gone, decks gone on the water side. Uh, pretty significantly to the exposing of the tight tanks and, and whatever mechanisms that were exposed. There was some historic things that were actually uh, exposed by this event no uh, that I found kind of interesting. It looks like it most likely dates back to the 1920s when those hurricanes what, what originally. What did you find? What was it? I found old clay tiles with septic systems with yeah. still metal covers and, and just funny piling sticking up in the middle of the sand. Yeah, a lot of piling. Steel yeah, pipes, cool. steel yeah. like looks like old boundary markers and yeah just odd stuff yeah. at that time so um again for the sake of the people involved in this this is this is going to be a serious uh, uh rebuilding i would say it's very very similar to hurricane bob and this was a no-name storm no -name so storm. we also experienced flooding in the uh, main road at the pocket chuck which is not unusual yeah. but the head also um the canoe outside the watershed building was quite comical. I should have got a picture of it. I didn't know if it was there just in case, or it happened to float over there. But when <laughs> I drove by, there. <laughs> I drove by, it went perfect, just in case. <laughs> um, and I guess there was a lot of other flooding throughout uh, the local community. So just for that, um, the selectmen are probably going to want to try to see if we'll give people emergencies. Um, when a storm is not declared by the state as a state of emergency, there is no leniency to have this automatic issuance of an emergency like there are in those storm events. This was not named. Um, that's why we ask that people have orders or conditions, which um, um, most do. Um, but those that don't are probably going to come back with their tails between their legs and, and asking us uh, for some forgiveness. So I'm not quite sure how we're going to be able to do this in the case of how much uh, of material was removed. Um, and in addition to that, that sailboat that probably is no longer on the beach or buried, um, I also had a report to acknowledge that DCR is going to be removing that. Um, Gone. I, I don't know how much of it is there, if anything, but no. they're tired of removing bits and pieces from right. the homeowner, the landowner, today. rather, the property owner bailed on the state. So I think they're going to change the pieces, right? yeah, pieces for monies to yeah. mm. pay for the recovery. So they were going to use an environmental recovery, recovery company to remove it, but that may be mute at this time. So I don't. That's it's pretty much it. I don't even know if it's there. I, I don't. I haven't gone to that well, side. Well, high high the water went yesterday. If anything floated it. Well, I <laughs> thought that gone. would be the best thing to do. But again, that's all I have, Mr. Chairman. I haven't got out to Cherry and Webb. I haven't got to Beach Ave and Atlantic oh, Ave. Yeah. I was just informed by um, oh, yeah. uh, Planning Board member Mr. Witten that. I guess the area that the beach club elephant has to get onto the beach exasperated and widened to the point where the water went all the way into the Cockies Pond. But if anybody does understand, those are barrier beaches. This is a normal action of the barrier beach. Um, 
it finds a blowout. They're called blowouts. The dune gets blown out and the water goes through it, the least path of resistance. And then it recures, it, it cures itself over time. So Mr. White and wanted me to go down there and, and stop there them and make them rebuild the dunes and such. But these oh. things occur. Mm -hmm. This has been occurring for many years and it's gonna to continue to. So um, I think this is a time where we should really make amends to have people on East Beach be really, uh, again, they argue about removing things, but everything that was on that side of the road is now on the opposing side. Or in the ocean. <laughs> or in the let. And I'm talking picnic tables, uh, cinder blocks, um, mm. you name it. It all washed in some of those water tanks that they refused to move. So um, I think this is going to push us to a direction where we need to, um, I, I don't know, ask us how many more times this is going to keep occurring and, and how we can work with the individuals to, to have it come back to what it was. Or will it ever come back to what it was? I don't know. So... That's basically all I have, Mr. Chairman. Wish you all a happy holidays. And uh, I was hoping that in this meeting we could consider, which our next meeting is January 2nd. I don't think that we would have a participation of all the members, and nor do I find it close to the new year that we would want to have one anyway. So I'm asking the board to consider making a motion to cancel or postpone that meeting to January 19th, Leon? 16th. 16th. January 16th. Okay. If, you, if you would so consider that. So the motion to uh, cancel the January set for meeting and push all the applicants to the 16th? Correct. So, yeah, so make a motion to cancel the January 2, 2024 meeting. Second. All in favor? Oh, All right, that commences our discussion for the evening, unless any members have some comments. Th oh. That material that you were talking about at East Beach, does that get removed or does it get redistributed? <laughs> I, 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 I'm just curious. I, whatever. It's being I, relocated for the time being to obviously get it out of the roadway and there was an excess of four foot of material in some places yeah so the landowners actually asked me if the, the town could dump it back on and i said no we're not going to individually chris actually hit some things trying to find the road so we're not going to be causing any more damage and with some the material is going to be dumped on the lot on near gooseberry we filled in a, a washout there and then the material is going to be stockpiled on the town's other end of the beach if if there is material that's where it'll be okay yes yes so it was not our intent to obviously rob but mother nature <sighs> right and mr. Kurt I did have a discussion with him I expressed that you know we really can't arbitrarily just give how many scoops to everybody it, it just doesn't really work. work that way when you're trying to get the road open so that's basically it. So thank, thank you for you. that question. Yeah, but it is not leaving that area. So it is staying on that beach face. Okay. Gotcha. Thank you. You're welcome. Where's your email? So are individuals, you know, responsible for removing debris from, you know, the lead? I would say no. I didn't see a significant amount of stuff in the oh, lead, but I, I saw a lot of stuff on the opposing yes, I see. Okay. side of, you know, a lot of decks, a lot of, you know, right. broken okay. up. Uh, you debris. just mentioned the Latin, that's why yeah. it occurred to me. I okay. did see a few pieces, but it seemed like everything got fetched up in the brush along the edge of the let. Okay. Um, yeah, um, again, okay. if you yeah. haven't, the photos are quite yeah. alarming. Yeah, you yeah, see the yeah. water I'm, continuing to push across the road. At, have you seen so. the causeway? I, I, but I, don't, I, I don't walked think into that. was a couple thousand pound boulders that got moved to the middle of the causeway. There are. Yeah. Did they close two. that? It's yes. closed, yeah. but it, but I mean, I'm talking a thousand pound, easily a thousand pound, yeah. right yeah. after that fence area yep. that just got belted right into the middle of the causeway. Well, we recalled last year, December 23rd, we had a very similar event yes. that caused significant, nowhere near this amount of damage. So that causeway was had rocks adjusted at that time. So. Um, Unfortunately, it yep. didn't rupture. Yep, a lot of that, rub, we, the then, rubber caulking that's in between all the blocks, a yeah, lot of that has been yeah. pulled right up. And yeah, so that thing was ready to, if it was a longer storm, that thing was gonna 
Breach. It, it, it may have gotten real interesting around here. Yeah. Could have had well, some natural as, flow as some back. landowners are very thankful for the causeway is yeah. on that side because it did help to ease some of the blow going the towards the house there. I, I think the Cherry and Webb is probably very much eaten into the dune like it does, yeah. but. Yeah. I think you got more beachfront on, on, I, on Cherry and Webb now. Yeah. About a lot 30 more, more feet. <laughs> to the point. Yeah. And uh, lastly, I did also, there's a dredging project that I found out that's been very hush-hush that the feds are paying for. That's what somebody told me. I didn't know. And now the material, from what I talked to DCR, they're begging for the material. Yeah. And the feds are saying, no, we're going to go dump it out there. Where? Out in the ocean? Yes. So it comes right back in? Oh, um, my God. Yes. Okay. So they're trying to cool. ask them if they could dump it closer to the causeway. <laughs> so, like, it, it comes back into the system a little slower. Yeah. But um, the state is working hard. But because it's a federal situation, I guess... Um, People wear blinders in this type of situation, and the common sense kind of goes out the window. So the pump it is a little more expensive. And than when to, is that project happening? I'm not sure, but I saw the the, the equipment, the machine, the two boats were in the overflow parking lot. Oh, already. So this a soon. week ago. Yep. Yeah, and yes. they were doing soundings. So. They're doing sounding. Yeah, they yeah. were out there. Yep. yep. So this is something that. Um, I had found out that there's federal money that's been given. So are they just doing the river to Cherry and Webb, or where are they? I think they're doing the, the yep. channel. They're doing the river, and the Coast Guard was out doing their maintenance on the breweries, mm -hmm. and they shifted they shifted the channel again in the harbor. Yeah. They moved it to the right. Yep. So they moved it the breweries right. per the Army Corps, and then, as Kevin mentioned, yep. yes, the dredging project will coincide. Yep. I'm not sure how far into the river they're coming, mm. But I know that this is wow. more for that navigational concern. So. Are they dredging the the new channel or the historic? I think channel? they're staying in that new in channel new setup, yeah, yeah, and keeping it that yeah. way. Right. Closer to Boat Beach, it's pretty shallow. It's it came right up. It's like three feet, like already on the what used to be the channel there this year. Well, Spindle Rock was happy to get had to. Some more moorings they could use with last year it was it was right up at the yeah. one of their main piers. Yeah. So Mother Nature is difficult to control, and um, we're finding that, especially when I think if you look at Cherry Web, Horse Neck, and Baker's, it was I think sand was brought back in. You, you the gained, amount of sand uh, yeah. there, Novo. thickness. I mean, when when I went down today. Uh, but I think a lot of it could be from the dunes too. Yeah. Pull it from the dunes. Oh, it down. Yeah. Because yeah. it cut. Yeah. 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 Right. Um, because it, the, the drop off from Baker's basically goes like that. Yeah. But it was it dumped a lot of sand. There's no rocks. Yeah, there's no like, there's no yeah. cobble on uh, on on Baker's right now or towards the town. So it either brought a lot more sand in. But to Chris's point, I don't think his pictures didn't do it any justice. If someone wants to walk East Beach and see what, what happened. It's there, spectacular. You know, oh, yeah. no, meaning it's, yeah. it's pretty significant. It's, you, yeah. Those, to see what happened to the lots on the ocean side is pretty. Uh, yeah, it's concerning to yeah. the point where somewhere along the line, I, again, I don't think the community is in the case can consider any acquisition at this time and we're, I, I, I wouldn't want to say that but the, how many more how many more events I mean we're not even through this winter even remotely again a, a, a significant hurricane would really probably breach you know so yep well that's it away we go do uh, Call we the have a, do we have a motion to adjourn motion to adjourn, <laughs> motion to adjourn. second all those in favor? Aye. Okay. Thanks, Valerie.